you could probably hear in my voice right now, I am recovering from a slight cold. This is actually my first cold in three years. Runny nose, a lot of sneezing. It happened the exact day that the weather in New York changed and it went from being about 80 degrees to about 60 degrees. Milo got it too. We're recovering over here. My aura ring tells me that I slept seven hours and 10 minutes last night, but it is telling me that my restfulness was not great and the timing was not great. So it wants me to pay attention attention. I got really into tracking my sleep during pregnancy when I knew that I was waking up multiple times throughout the night and I wanted to gauge just how many hours of sleep I was actually getting and now I'm just addicted to it and I do it every night. But the real reason I got the Aura Ring was not to track my sleep, it was to chart my temperatures with Natural Cycles. Today's video is sponsored by Natural Cycles and I'm so excited to share with you why I got the Aura Ring and talk to you a little bit about the Natural Cycles and Aura Ring integration. First, a little bit of background about Natural Cycles. They're the first ever FDA cleared birth control app. How does an app help you with birth control? Great question, let me answer that for you. But I do wanna point out first that I made an entire video about how I track and chart my period cycle using natural cycles. I did that kind of before I got pregnant, back when I was in the trying to conceive stage. So if you missed that video, I will link it for you up here, but that's just an oldie to go reference. But natural cycles is not a period tracker. It's an app that is powered by a certified and a regulated algorithm. And it learns the pattern of your unique cycle using your body temperature and other fertility indicators. The algorithm can then determine your daily fertility status and you will either see that you're in a green day, which is the day that you are safe to have unprotected sex if you're trying to prevent a pregnancy, or a red day, which means if you're not trying to get pregnant, you should either abstain from having sex that day or you should use an alternative form of contraception like a condom. I've learned so much about my fertility and pregnancy in general from Natural Cycles and actually the app. They give you a lot of information in the app, but there are only six days in your cycle when you can possibly get pregnant. This includes the day of ovulation, also the rate of sperm survival because, you know, sperm can stay alive inside of you for a certain amount of time. But Natural Cycles is 98% effective with perfect use. It's 93% effective with typical use. And the best part about it is that it is an app that allows you to have birth control without needing to take hormones. I was on the pill for 11 years, but when I went off it, I realized that my body was so much more functional without it. And so I do not plan to go back on it. I plan on using natural cycles as a way to now prevent pregnancy. I used to chart my natural cycles temperature with the thermometer that they give you, but they have an integration with Aura Ring, and I had been wanting an Aura Ring, and I figured this is the perfect time to get one. So I chose the gold Aura Ring. This is what it looks like. I actually think it's very chic. I chose to put it on my middle finger. I think they recommend the pointer finger or the middle finger. It's very, very light. It does not feel like much on my finger, but I leave it on overnight, and it measures my temperature trend data while I sleep. In the morning when I wake up, I just open the Natural Cycles app and I sync it with the Aura Ring data and then it will tell me what my basal body temperature is that day. This is particularly interesting and relevant to me right now because I just got my period back after not having my period for over a year. So the last time I got my period was pre-pregnancy, the cycle before I got pregnant. I got pregnant in March of 2021. I went through my whole pregnancy. I had a baby in November of 2021. And then I was nursing him for nine months. And pretty much one month after I stopped nursing him, my period came back. But what was so fascinating about my period coming back is that I knew it was coming before it even came for a variety of reasons. One of them being I had my aura ring synced to the Natural Cycles app and I noticed that I had kind of a little bit of a dip and then a spike in my temperatures. And as I entered my luteal phase, which is the couple weeks after ovulation, my temperature remained elevated until the day I got my period. Before I tried to conceive, I used natural cycles to prevent a pregnancy, then I used it to plan a pregnancy, and now I'm using it to prevent a pregnancy again. It is my absolute favorite form of birth control. I think it's so empowering. It teaches you about your body, teaches you about what's going on in your cycle every single month, and I've just been really loving it so far. So if you wanna try it out, you can use my code Lucy at naturalcycles.com. It will get you 20% off a Natural Cycle subscription, plus a free thermometer, plus a special Aura Ring offer. And this applies to new and existing users. All right, now I have to go charge my Aura Ring and I have to get to bed early tonight because I have to rest up, I have to get healthy and get on with my week.
What? Nothing. What did you say? No comment. Where are you going? Not going anywhere. Is this your trick to get me to vlog with you? How did you know? I just want you to tell them something. Okay. Can you move back because your head's not in it? Oh my god, you're too tall. Can you tell them about Iceland? What about it? <laughs> Michael went on a bachelor party recently to Iceland with some guys. Not his bachelor party, his friends. We saw an active volcano. And I'm gonna share footage of it right here. This footage was shot by their guide that was taking them around and I got his permission to put this footage in the video. I'm also putting his Instagram down below. But what happened to the drone that was filming this footage? It burned. <laughs> The drone got burned from the well, volcano. Yeah, I guess it melted. It melted. So you can see the footage here. The the camera's flying close to the to the lava and then it stops recording all of a sudden because the drone melted. But the guide was still able to retrieve the footage. One thing I've been wanting to do on TikTok that I'm trying to convince Michael to let me do is a husband haul. You know, I've been seeing these boyfriend hauls all around TikTok and I asked him if I could do a haul for him. And he said, yes, but I still haven't done it. I did. You did. And I won. You won! So maybe I'll try it right now, quickly. This is my husband. I purchased him in 2009. I got the extra slim, extra tall model. Um, <laughs> I'm really, really happy with my purchase so far. He's received a lot of upgrades since I first purchased including beard growth that he sometimes shaves off but it comes back, a lot of chest hair updates. His heart has grown three sizes since we started. And it was already pretty big. It was already pretty big. He's gotten a lot smarter as well. He was always smart, but he has gotten into crossword puzzles a lot more. Is this how you do a husband haul? I've seen a grand total of zero. Okay, so. we'll have to practice for TikTok because that was not good. All right. Good try. Good try. Anyway, is Macho going to keep me up all night? All night. Is it really? I don't know. Check it out. Check it out, he said. I really want to make a matcha, and this whisk is staring me in the face, but I did have a night a couple nights ago where I could not sleep, and I think it was from some chocolate that I had too close to bedtime, so now I'm just in one of those paranoid states of not wanting to do anything that will affect my sleep because it is literally the worst feeling to be lying in bed being like I can't fall asleep right now and I know the time is ticking and I know I have to wake up in the morning especially having a baby who's gonna wake you up on the dot it's tough to not be able to sleep so I don't think I'm gonna have the matcha we're gonna pass on it but maybe tomorrow morning. I have a few life and health updates to share with you. I'm taking you into the bedroom. This is where I like to talk about my life and health updates. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram, by the way, because Instagram stories specifically is where I try to share, you know, as much of real time as possible. Note that like a lot of stuff you see on my YouTube is weeks, often months behind. <laughs> so if you're just an avid YouTube follower, keep that in mind as you watch my content. Everything is like months behind because I shoot a lot of content and it takes time to get it edited and to get it scheduled into my posting schedule and it ends up going up a little late. The thing I wanted to update you on is some health struggles that I have been going through lately. Starting with, if I go back to the cause of all this, a few months ago before I stopped nursing Milo, I got mastitis. And I think I did talk about this on YouTube before, but it was horrible. I woke up one night in the middle of the night with a lump in my boob. I did everything I could to try to get it out. You know, I took a shower, I was massaging it, I was trying to pump, I was doing as much as I could. I took some sunflower lecithin, which is like this sticky gooey stuff. Nothing was working. I took, I, I was starting to get a fever, so I took some ibuprofen and then I went back to bed. When I woke up in the morning, the pain was still there. I had a raging headache and it was clear I had gotten mastitis. That day, Michael and I had an appointment to see a house out of the city, so we drove to the suburbs, and I was just miserable the whole time. Walking through the house, feverish, feeling really sick, didn't have any medication, ended up calling my doctor and getting the prescription for antibiotics that I took as soon as we got back. Anyway, the mastitis cleared up very quickly from the antibiotics, but it did kind of cause me to have some like strange stomach issues over the next month. It was not crazy. It wasn't like every single day, but a couple times a week I was having some type of diarrhea or like loose stool. TMI? I don't know. 
YouTube, I tell you everything. And I knew that that was weird because maybe some of you have that frequently or like that's just a normal part of your weekly routine. But for me, ever since I went gluten free and ever since my celiac diagnosis and like figuring all of that out, I swear I have not had diarrhea in over a year. So for me to have it, I knew something was up and thankfully I had a video call with a doctor and I told the doctor that I was having this and she ordered me a stool test and it came back showing that I was positive for C. diff. I'm no doctor, but a little background about C. diff, it's a bacteria that can be caused specifically by certain antibiotics that you take, such as the exact one I took for mastitis, because that antibiotic knocks out a lot of good stuff and creates a perfect environment for C. diff to thrive. So people that are on antibiotics or have a compromised immune system are really susceptible to C. diff, which is why it like runs rampant in hospitals, because health personnel are like going to the room of someone that has C. diff and they're like touching the bodily fluids, the spores or whatever can get on their gloves and then if they don't properly clean it and they go into someone else's room, it spreads really easily, especially to immunocompromised people. I got it from the antibiotics and then, believe it or not, the cure for C. diff is another antibiotic. I had to take another antibiotic to cure the C. diff. I know that they're vital, I know they can be life-saving, and I know that in the case of something like a pesky infection like C. diff that is hard to get rid of, you really want to take the antibiotics and get rid of it because it's not a good infection to have. But still, nevertheless, antibiotics obviously cause me other problems, yeast infections and other stomach troubles. I'm currently in the state right now where I finished the 10 day course of antibiotics for C. diff and knock on wood, my diarrhea is gone. But I am, I don't know, I'm just like not feeling my hottest. As I just told you, I got my first sickness in three years, like my first cold. I'm just feeling really run down and knocked out. I need some time to rest. I have a lot of work that I say yes to because I love doing my job and especially when it's a really Really great brand that is giving me a really great offer, I have a hard time saying no. It's really easy for me to say no to brand partnerships where the rate is just not consistent with my other rates or if the brand is just not a good fit for me or my audience, but it's really hard for me to say no to like really good opportunities that I know my audience is gonna love and that I'm excited to share with you. So I think I overextend myself a bit. I say yes to a lot of stuff and then this happens to me and I get knocked down and I need to rebuild. And I'm just really working on fueling myself. The meal prep stuff has been coming in handy. I pushed myself to do a meal prep light situation this weekend even though I was sick and I was so grateful that I did it because it really set our family up for a good week of meals. One other thing is that I am I'm gonna go see a naturopathic doctor soon and I think that I really want to start adding as per my therapist's recommendation I want to start adding some naturopath like I don't know the right word homeopathic things into my routine to like have regular maintenance of things like my digestion especially because I don't have a gallbladder I have celiac disease I have a lot of like autoimmune slash gut things that she thinks would be really better maintained with the help of a naturopathic person. Acupuncture sessions, maybe some regular uh, adjustments like craniosacral adjustments, some Reiki and energy healing, and potentially some herbs that are recommended for me just to support me and my body and what I need. So once I see that person, <laughs> I think I know who I'm going to see, but once I see that person, I'll keep you posted on how it's all going. I know this is a really weird angle, but I was going to put some of these books away in Milo's room and at the same time wanted to tell you about a thought I had recently. I remember being really young and I remember being on vacation with my family and being on the beach and running around the beach, specifically if you want to know what I was doing, I was making sand meatballs. And we, my sister and I were like running to the water, getting water, getting sand, making meatballs, and then running back to the parents and like lining the meatballs up and asking if the parents wanted to play. I remember seeing all the parents sitting on beach chairs, just watching us run back and forth from the water and just lying there. Some of them were reading, some of them were just talking to each other. And I remember the thought crossed my mind of, aren't they bored? Like, don't they want to be spinning around in circles and making meatballs on the beach? How could they possibly be having enjoyment from just sitting there? I remember thinking that, and I remember saying to myself, 
that will never be me. I am never gonna be an adult who wants to sit down. I'm gonna be the adult that wants to play with the kids because I just, I, I had so much energy at that time in my life and I couldn't imagine a time when I didn't have that energy when all I would wanna do is sit. Now, I can confidently say that is aging because I'm not even that old, I'm 30 years old, but I want to sit on a lounge chair and do nothing. And now I see it with Milo, I spend a lot of time in his room playing with him and he is crawling around the floor, going to the bathroom, going to the door, he's going to the cabinet, he's going to his bench, and I am sitting on this chair, chilling. And you know what? That's all I want to be doing. So I guess that's my way of saying I feel like I've officially entered into adulthood in that I finally understand why adults and parents were always chilling on the lounge chairs and were not running up and down the beach. It's because they're tired. On a more positive note, I did have this moment that I wanted to share with you guys the other day. I was sitting on this chair, Milo was crawling around the room. I don't know what did this to me, but I kind of like pulled myself out of my own head and was hovering above the situation and looking on as Milo crawled around the room and I just like sat next to him and watched. And I had this very like heartwarming moment where I just realized that I am so happy with my life right now. Really content with where I'm at. And one thing that I'm just so, so grateful for is my current work-life situation. I'm not gonna say work-life balance because I don't necessarily think I'm ever balanced. As I think I've said before, I go through spurts of being like really work heavy and definitely not having enough family time. And then I go through being really family heavy and not doing enough work. I don't feel like I'm actually chasing balance anymore. I feel like what I have is such an ideal situation where three days a week I have a nanny that's here helping me and being amazing and then the other two days a week I just get to be with Milo and get to like while he naps still do a little bit of work if I want to but play with him and spend time with him and not feel like I'm falling behind with work because I work for myself and because I can adjust my schedule accordingly and I genuinely feel like the three work days that I've set for myself in a week are enough, it's enough time for me right now to do what I want to do. Maybe it won't always be that way. I can see a time in the future when I upgrade to like five days a week of help or when Milo starts going to some sort of program. But for now, it feels really doable and I just, I feel like I'm in a really happy, content life spot and I just wanted to share that. And I made a very, I guess, real post on Instagram the other day that I'll pop up here. If you wanna go read the full caption, go to this photo or this reel on my Instagram, it was a reel. By the way, the song was a new song from my brother's band. I can't play it on YouTube because it will give me a copyright strike, but it's called Grey Turns Gold and it's an amazing song. So go check that out. But the caption under this reel was all about how motherhood gets better. Like it gets better as time goes on and in the beginning it can be dark and the gray turns gold. I'm telling you the gray turns gold. Go read that caption because I definitely went through a lot of darkness in the early days of Milo's life and I did not suffer from postpartum anxiety or postpartum depression but I still felt baby blues and it was the dead of winter and I felt like when the sun was setting I was sad and it was just confusing and I'm here to tell any young parents that are in that stage right now that it gets better, it gets more enjoyable, I don't know if it gets easier or if it just feels easier because you adjust, whatever it is, it gets easier and it also just gets happier and lighter. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna go do some emails. I have a lot of work to do, but it was great chatting. If you give a mouse a Milo, he's probably gonna ask for some milk. <laughs> he lies down here with the pillow on his head, and then we say, Good night, Mousy. Milo. Ally. Ah. 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 Yes. Did you say ah? That's my name. Say it again. Ah. Oh God. Is that Aunt Allie? 
You want to go in and take a ride around the room? That sounds fun. Here we go. Choo choo. Whoa. Whoa. This is practice for Disneyland. Whoa. All right, got to go to work. <laughs> Allie's over. And we're having a sissy and Milo day. We're trying to teach Milo a lot of new things today. Right? What are we learning? I'm gonna put you right here. First things first. How about you come to mama? Okay. 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 Ready? Tickle torture. Tickle torture. And one, two, three. <gasps> This kid nonsense is no joke. <laughs> we are tired. Right, Milo, we're tired. You wear us out. Uh, don't you wanna just like sit on the couch and watch TV? Do you wanna go watch Miss Rachel? <laughs> we're gonna go watch Miss Rachel, okay? Let's go. Let's go, she'll teach us how to talk. You ready? Uh huh. You ready? Yep. Excited. Give me the first eight. Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four. We made it to the studio. Behind the scenes. Ooh, cool. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah. Cause I'm burning up and the music's taking over me. Anyway, we're about to film. We rented this beautiful studio for the day. We have a bed over here, a plant over here, lots of broken windows, and daylight. And there's Jake. So what'd you bring today? We are going to be shooting today on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. I like the 6K because it's got built-in NDs. Super cool. Look at this. In case you guys don't know, Carly is my fitness strength trainer. Hi. That I met through my friend Sam, who I'll pop up right here because he's great. <laughs> And every week we meet twice a week in the morning and we do leg day one day and upper body day the other day. And I told her I wanted to do more dance videos because you guys won't shut up about it, frankly. <laughs> and I love you all so much that I wanted to give you what you wanted. So we're here, we're gonna learn two dances today. We have an outfit change. This is dance number one. We'll come back with look number two. We will come back with look number two. And in the meantime, <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to whatever his name was at Lululemon. Oh yeah, Caden. Caden. Shout out that. to Caden at Lululemon for helping us find these matching outfits. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, see you soon. All right, we're just about to film dance numero dos. We're in our new outfits. This time we've got joggers, and we're doing a little, what is this? Pop jazzercise action. So excited. Don't forget. Beep, beep. All right. We're ready. We're ready. 
Take two.